China, one of the oldest civilizations on earth. You can't knock it. They've been around a long time. They know their stuff. They know their shit. The concepts of yin and yang, good, bad, light, dark, positive, negative, Jedi, Sith. This balance is what stops the universe from collapsing. But what has this got to do with today's review? Well, in 2020, bad things came from China and good things. The good thing was the per gear 50 millimeter F1.8 for the Fuji XF Man. So as you've seen from the uh, slideshow there, the image quality coming from this lens is more than good enough. Um, really, really happy with it. It's compact, it's light. Um, the, uh, the focus ring, it's lovely and smooth makes uh, achieving the uh, clinical focus very easy. Um, it's got a clickless aperture ring, which again, it's got a nice feel to it. Um, some people don't like clickless aperture rings. Does it really matter to me? Not. I'm more concerned about the image quality. And like I've said, this more than meets professional standards. And that's all that matters. I mean, to me, the, the photos that come from the lens um, certainly have that vintage vibe to it. And um, yeah, you can adapt vintage lenses, but you know, there's a possibility you're going to get um, fungus in the lens, um, you know, oil leakages. There's, there's certain cons to using vintage lenses. So for £50, which is what this lens cost me, £50, roughly about €55, Euros, you're getting that vintage vibe and it's new. Perfect. Now, of course, this lens is a manual focus lens. Um, if you've never tried manually focusing before and you're scared of it, it, it comes down to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Um, there's no excuses these days with uh, digital cameras. You, you've got unlimited times to nail focus. Um, yeah, it's easy. Just use uh, focus peaking, zoom in, critical focus achieved. No problem. So let's talk image quality. Um, I think these days we do tend to nerd out when it comes to lenses. Um, there's plenty of videos out there showing charts and um, pixel peeping. And um, while it's important to some, 
and I, I appreciate for professional photographers um, it is important but for me um, well let me explain it another way I'm a musician and when I'm making a track there's times, well majority of the times, I, I don't th feel like the track is ever finished because I'm constantly tweaking it. For example, I'll, I'll change the levels of, a, of, of the guitar or, um, you know, uh, the, the drum bass, the bass drum isn't loud enough or, um, you know, the piano needs to be equalised or there's compression needed. But, the bottom line is when somebody listens to my track with punter's ears um, and by punter's ears I mean your average person who doesn't give a shit about the levels in your, in your mix um, they always say oh that's great what a great track that is uh, sounds great and I'm thinking well can't you hear that the uh, piano's five decibels too quiet um, and I think the same principles can definitely be applied to photographs. We can spend hours tweaking, editing, worrying about, you know, corner sharpness. Uh, when the, the bottom line is show a decent photo that, that captures the emotion of the scene to an average person, for example, my mum, um, and the response I will get is, oh, that's a lovely photo, isn't it, love? So, like I say, it doesn't matter. Nobody can see or gives a shit about the corner sharpness. So, this is why lenses such as this are a bargain. An absolute steal. Oh, how I've ummed and ahed about getting the, um, the F2 23mm or the 35 or the 50 or should I get the 56mm uh, the, 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 uh, 1.4, you know, these are expensive lenses, Qu quality lenses, yeah, but they're expensive and um, I thought I'll give this a go and totally blown away. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stop worrying about these things and get out there and just take photos. So, per gear, if you're watching this video, I'd just like to say that I love your lenses. And uh, if you feel like sending me others, I'd be more than happy to review them for you. But I assure you, this video is not sponsored by Pergear. So on my X-Pro1, I think the lens looks great. It makes for a great budget compact system. Uh, if you watch my other video about the X-Pro1, you'll realize that combined, this little setup cost me 250 pounds and it takes amazing quality photographs. Um, also, with the lens, you get this little neoprene pouch and uh, a lens hood. Again, it's metal. looks great. So to recap, cheap but no compromise on image quality, sturdy, robust, metallic construction, overall a thumbs up. So if you enjoyed watching the video please please consider subscribing. Um, I am a new camera channel who wishes to grow and I would very, very much appreciate you doing so. Um, also give the video a uh, thumbs up, a like, hit the notification bell 
and um, any comments regarding the lens please drop them down below uh, what lenses do you use have you tried any of the Pergear lenses uh, do you like manual lenses anything you wish to comment I would very 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 much appreciate your constructive criticism so until next time my friends it's ciao for now